Telly, come back to the workshop, we're getting a car now. Hi Tuners, welcome back to Board to Tune. Today Benny and I, we are waiting for a very special car, the Yaris GR. Benny. Oh, what a wonderful toy, a cocktail of tradition and innovation the legacy of the brand's motorsport. Benny, what do you think? It's not good. Ah, tuners, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Benny, I see that you can't really stand still. What are you, uh, orchestra maestro now? <coughs> Tuners, Benny is absolutely right. The first step of a good engine modification is the exhaust, which involves the hair masses involved in the combustion engine. Benny, you're getting wise. I guess you can't wait to map the Yaris, since your friend has already fit an aftermarket exhaust. But let's see what that means. So here we are talking about a modified vehicle exhaust. By intervening on this specific engine, the role of the gases mass involved, in this case expelled, changed the motion of rarefaction and compression waves in the exhaust system. And these are crucial for the overall engine success. Increasing the size of the entire exhausting line, eliminating some pollution devices that reduce the pressure and the temperature that in the combustion chamber is very high, or replacing them all with more performing ones, change the rules of all the game. Especially in this case where we are talking about a turbocharged vehicle. But let's go step by step. The standard setup of the car, in this case of the RSGR sport car, provides a compromise between anti-pollution regulation, fuel consumption and longevity of the mechanical components. The result is an exhaust and a general management of the vehicle that we don't really hope for. Once the exhaust components have been changed, depending on the complexity, it is advisable to remap the ECU and exploit all the possibility of the new exhaust. In this case, we are dealing with a complete exhaust, which however has kept the catalytic converter. In any case, it would be a pity not to increase the power. Also, because of the greater quantity of burn petrol and the new timing advances. Normally, when you get an aftermarket cat, you gotta choose the number of cells, depending on what you're looking for. Normally, you go for 100 or 200 cells. The first is more open, so at lower RPM, the engine will be more ready, and also can go higher, with awesome results after 6,000 RPM. While in the second, you don't have such an effect, but you will get more torque at a medium range between 3,500 and 5,500 RPM. The mapping responds precisely to this need, and by changing each single value, not only the power is going to be improved, but also the overall delivery of the vehicle. In the case of some petrol vehicles, the force electronic removal of the GPF, the antiparticulate device for petrol vehicles, is necessary after changing the exhaust to prevent the service warning light from turning on. In fact, the differential probes will detect values out of range. Back in action, Benny will be eager to recalibrate the Yaris. Benny, this trolley is the usual disaster. Can bear up to 100 kilos, but let's see what you really need. Avada Kedavra! 
Okay, now we have a nice kit worthy of a mechatronic. Laptop, flex, a battery charger to maintain the voltage of the battery, and a fender to avoid any damage. Benny, did you check the connection modes on this ECU? Okay, let's work out our magic. The Yaris GR is a Generation 3 ECU. Right now, Ben is identifying it. Okay, we got the ECU. Let's give this Yaris a nice sound. Let's go back to the headquarters. Let's say that we are ready to operate in the maps area of our Yaris GR. Benny, leave the map alone and come to the PC. The Yaris GR, where GR stands for Toyota Gazoo Racing, builds on the Japanese Mark's successful sport car dynasty. Just to name a few, the AE86, the Celica, which has won the WRC several times, and the super muscular Supra. The small three-cylinders engine delivers 261 horsepower, and it's only 1.6. Leveraging advanced technologies such as the multi-jet oil piston cooling, large diameter exhaust and partially machined intake valves. It is a very performing engine, which equipped on a GR Corolla reaches the bar of 3 or 4 horsepower. This just to give us an idea on how far mapping can go on this vehicle. In particular, after making a modification as the exhaust system. Where have you been? We've been waiting for you to be able to finish this. So, where we are we at? So now the ECU, the remap ECU, it's ready to return its place. Let's see how this Yaris is gonna raise its voice. Okay tuners, let's go and try it out. What a handling, with the whole wheel drive and with the traction 50-50, this car is really fun. I'm not surprised that the Yaris has won the last two World Rally Championship. The personality of this car has really grown. In addition to the sound, now delivery has become very direct. It seems hard to believe, but three cylinders are enough to give a day to a driver. The short wheelbase and the delivery of such a light engine make it glued to the tarmac. So tuners, be aware, after these modifications, the car will not be street legal anymore. See you on the next episode.